Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Now in this video, we are going to have a 3D overview of a medium voltage switchgear panel. So you'll be knowing a lot of things. So make sure uh, you watch it till the end and let us start with the 3D overview of medium voltage panel. So here you can see the panel of uh, the medium voltage. Uh, it could be a 12 kV or 17.5 kV panel. You can see this is the front side where you have multiple doors and multiple sections. Uh, this is the side sheet made this. Now the outer structure is completely made up of sheet steel. This is the back side of uh, the panel. Uh, now let us look at what this panel will have. Now what we are going to see today here is an air insulated switchgear panel. Now in medium voltage there can be two variants of that one is uh, which is the most commonly used one air insulated switchgear and we do also have the gas insulated switchgear panel. In this particular video we are only going to talk about the air insulated switchgear panel. In case if you want me to make a video explaining a 3D model of a gas insulated switchgear panel also then do comment GIS panel. If I get enough comments then definitely I'll be making a video on that as well. So here is our air insulated switchgear panel. Now uh, the panels can perform different different functions. So it could be incomer panel, it could be feeder panel, it could be bus coupler, bus riser or maybe the metering panel as well. Maybe let us consider this is an incomer panel. So accordingly we will move ahead. So since this is an incomer panel, of course we need to enter the cable inside the panels to connect the supply to it. So at the bottom, you can see we have uh, the arrangement to allow the cables to enter in this. These are the gland plates that we can see. And from here, the cables will go in and those cable then will be connected to this bus bar that you can see here. These are the copper bus bar. This is where we will connect the incoming supply. Now it could be single core cable. It could be three core cable, uh, which depends on the customer requirement. So this is where we will be connecting the incoming supply. Now when supply is incoming for sure we need to measure what is the current that is coming into my system. What is the current of the system? For that you can see we have connected a current transformer in series with that. Now always remember current transformer we always connect it in the series. So this is the current transformer. So we have R, Y and B. Uh, current transformer here. This will measure the current. It will give inputs to the meters. It will give inputs to the relay, which is also one of the crucial uh, parameter, which is protection. So that is the current transformer. And certainly like the current transformer, we also need to measure the voltage uh, that is in the system. So for that, you can see we have a voltage transformer here also. Now this is the voltage transformer, which is connected in parallel to the system. It is not in series. You can also see it from the current path. So this is the current path. You see current transformer is in series. It has incoming and outgoing, but voltage transformer is only having the incoming. There is no outgoing visible outgoing. So that is the difference. So this voltage transformer will help us in measuring the voltage, uh, which uh, the input of which we can give to let's say a relay or to a meter. Now the voltage transformer you can see you can also see some uh, a rod is coming out of that. Now it's not a rod it's a fuse. Now most of the times you will find a voltage transformer is connected with a fuse in series with that. So in case something goes wrong this fuse will be blown and the voltage transformer will be protected. And this voltage transformer can be of two types. It can be either a fixed type that means it is fixed inside the panel or it can be a removable type withdrawable type. So you can see uh, this can be removed. So when my fuse is blown I can simply remove this uh, truck uh, or the part from the panel uh, replace this fuse and put uh, put it back inside the panel. So that is the advantage that a withdrawable type uh, voltage transformer offers. So those are the two variants available. Now, if you find my YouTube videos helpful, then definitely you will also find the courses that I have created on the different topics very, very useful. Now, these courses are definitely designed to help the students of final year and also the early working professional. You will find all the courses that I have uh, available on courses.theelectricalguide.in. I'll also provide that link down in the description. You can go and check it out. So that is the instrument transformer that we talked about. And then also you can notice here we have this thing which is nothing but the earthing switch. 
So when you close this earthing switch, these are the blade of that earthing switch and that will be connected to this part of the bus bar. That means all your trap charges from the cable will be grounded and that is why uh, you will find an earthing switch also provided there. But certainly you cannot always close this earthing switch. There are certain conditions. Uh, only when those conditions are met, then only you can close the earthing switch. So there are a lot of interlocks that you need to uh, provide in the panel. So it, it could be the mechanical interlocks as well. So that is the earthing switch you can see here. These are the earthing switches and this red portion what you can see. This is nothing but the insulators to support the bus bar. And from there the current is going up. Now certainly when we are handling the situation we need to operate the supply, turn it on, turn it off uh, intentionally or maybe in case of fault automatically. For that the most important equipment that we must have is the circuit breaker. So you can see these are the circuit breaker connectors from here the supply is going and it is getting connected to the circuit breaker and circuit breaker is for sure connected in the series. So this black portion what you can see is the interrupter of the breaker. Now in medium voltage we have two options we can have the vacuum interruption or the SF6 gas interruption both the options are available. And this is this black portion is the interrupter part of that. Then when you go to the front side of that you will see this is the operating mechanism it will have operating mechanism. This black rod is nothing but the operating handle so in case if there is no supply or motor is not working you can charge the springs of that using this handle and locally also you can operate the circuit breaker. Now circuit breaker is very very crucial equipment I have a dedicated playlist on that where we talk about lot of important parameters of circuit breaker the nameplate details of that you can go and check it out I'll provide a link for it down in the description. So from there you can see supply is going to the bus bar side now. This is where uh, to the back side of this uh, vertical bus bar we will be connecting the main bus bars. So in case if there are multiple panels that panels can be connected maybe to the right hand side or to the left hand side. So let's say this is the incomer panel there will be another feeder panel there will be bus coupler there will be bus riser bus metering line PT like that there can be multiple panels. And on the top of this you can see this section uh, let me put it so this this section here this is the gas duct basically in case if there is fault happening internal fault fault which is what we call as internal arc and which can generate very dangerous gases those gases can be transferred out of the room using this uh, duct that we have here. So here is the splitted view. Again this uh, this 3D model is publicly available I'll be putting link for this down in the description you can go and check it out after this video as well. And in the front you can see this is the top portion this is the top section that we have this is our low voltage compartment or also called as the auxiliary compartment. Now this will have uh, all your let's say relays circuitries low voltage circuitries maybe some indication signals voltage detection systems. Uh, maybe small small MCBs and all the small items. So all the auxiliary items will go and fit inside the top part of the panel. So there is low voltage uh, compartment. So if you divide this panel into the different compartment what we have is the top portion is the low voltage compartment or also called as the auxiliary compartment. The middle section is the circuit breaker compartment or the switching device compartment. Bottom portion is the VT compartment in this particular panel. And also uh, this is at the bottom you can see this is uh, the cable compartment this is where the cables are entering. This is current transformer backside would be the bus bar compartment. Right now this particular design is for one particular current rating in case if your current rating is changing the design will change. And there are multiple variants also available so this what you can see is a single bus bar arrangement uh, there is a double bus bar configuration also available in medium voltage so that options are there. So that is uh, the equipment that we have you can see it in this 3D model. So this is the air insulated type switchgear panel similar to this we, we also have gas insulated panel as I mentioned if you want me to make a dedicated video also talking about the 3D model overview of gas insulated panel then do comment GIS panel. If I get enough comments then definitely I'll be making a video on that. Now 
I've already talked about what is the difference between AIS and GIS. I have a dedicated video on that. Uh, link for that also I'll provide down in the description. You can go and check it out. All right, so that's the 3D overview of the simple panel. I'll provide link for this down in the description. You can also go and check it out. If you found this video helpful, then do comment helpful in the comment section below. And if you like the video, then of course do like the video and share it with the people you think might be interested in knowing about this. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.